Well, hello again, everyone. Um, it's been a while since I've done a YouTube video. I think it's been about three or four months or something like that. Um, I've been really, really busy doing my own sort of 360 virtual tour work and some interior photography and things like that. But I've also been speaking to a lot of people over the past few months, giving them a one hour training session, which people get, as many of you may know, um, if they purchase 3D Vista through me. Uh, I've spoken to some absolutely amazing people over the past few months. And um, one thing that's come up quite a lot is uh, people weren't too sure how to use the dual skin feature, or some of them weren't even aware of the dual skin feature, uh, which in my opinion is one of the most powerful features of the software, because what it does is instead of making a desktop skin sort of responsive to try and fit into a mobile phone uh, layout, you can completely redesign the skin uh, to, to show on a mobile phone. So it just gives you the peace of mind that you, you, you know, your skin is going to look great on a desktop as well as it is on a mobile. So what I wanted to do is just go through the feature, just give you an idea of how it works, um, what you can do with it. So, uh, so yeah, let's have a quick look and see what it's like. Okay, so here we are in the main screen of 3D Vista, which is the one you see when you launch the actual software itself. Um, so what I'm going to do, instead of using a tool that I've already created, I'm just going to think I'm just going to start a, a brand new project um, just to uh, so, sort of show you from scratch. Um, so if we just choose a skin here, let's go with one of the ones I use the most, which is the magazine real estate one. Select that and just get it all loaded up. Um, what I will do is I'm probably only going to work with one panorama because um, we don't need to go into the hotspots and all that sort of stuff. So let's just find a panorama quickly. And da -da 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 -da. Okay, let's go with this one. Okie dokie. So let's just get that all loaded in. And then we'll just click on it and then just make sure the projection is Okay, it doesn't really matter because what we're focusing on here is the skin. All right, so um, what you'll see first of all is the general skin or the desktop skin. Um, and I, I, I tend to take advantage of these skins that 3D Vista pre-make for everyone because uh, they've put a lot of work into them. Um, they look really, really good. Uh, and the good thing is, is you can customize this. Obviously, this is designed for real estate use because obviously you've got realtor um, or estate agent, as we call it in the UK. And uh, you've got photo album, floor plan and so on and so on. But you can change all of this um, to fit in with the business that you're doing the tour for. I tend to use this skin more for um, sort of tours that are fully connected. So... Uh, there are some tours that I do for bigger businesses where it's just too expensive for, for the business to have shots of every single hallway, every single passage and corridor and things like that. So um, so if, if I am able to connect all the 360 images for a smaller tour, then this is the one I use. Um, if not, then um, I tend to use the, uh, which one is it? Let me just go back here. The portfolio community one, because um, what this does is it enables uh, enables me to uh, sort of just separate the tour, the 360 images into separate sections. So, uh, you know, reception and then different bedrooms and amenities and things like that. So um, let's just close that out and just focus on this one. Um, so first of all, in the top left, they've given you some sort of text to, to show uh, what the name of the tour is if you want to. Uh, if you want, you can put dynamic text in there. So if we take this out, and what we can do is we can use the multi-line text tool. Uh, let's just use the one with the see-through background because that tends to look a little bit nicer on there. Let me just pop that in here. I don't think there's a box there, so I'm going to get rid of that. Come on. There we go. Just so we can change the size of this. Okay, right, so let's drag this up here. Okay, now I'm going to get rid of all this text because I don't really need it. And what this will do is, quite a useful little tip if you haven't seen this already, 
is you can put, you just highlight that and then come up to here where it says variables and then put media title in there instead and then highlight subtitle and then put media subtitle. You can of course change the, the font and the font size and everything of this, but what that will do is it will basically take the title of your panorama here um, and then the subtitle as well and then it will uh, pull that text through into here for you. Okay, so if you are doing um, like a, you know, a, a, a real estate tour, you could put bedroom one, living room, dining room, garden, and so on and so forth in there. Okay, so that's the first change that we've made to this, to this skin. Uh, I do recommend, now people like to do this, I can do this different ways, but what I tend to do is edit this skin using the general tab uh, and get it how I want, how I want it to look. Um, so let's say for this tour, I'm not going to have a floor plan on there. So I'll delete that, just, just click on it and then click delete. It will stay in the right hand side here, but as long as this is set to invisible, then obviously it, it's, it's not going to show. Um, panorama list is always a useful one to have in there. Um, if you click on panorama list here, just on the, on the eyeball there, it will just show it for you. Um, again, you can change the, uh, the font size of the text here and everything if you want to. Um, so let's just hide that again and um, what else we're we gonna have so house info yeah we'll have that um, and then photo album yeah we'll keep that no in fact we'll take that out there we go so we've changed that slightly um, now if we come over onto the mobile skin you'll notice that it's back to the original version um, which means that the changes that you make on here don't automatically update and pull across to the mobile version, which is fine because you want the mobile version to be different to the desktop version. So what we could do is we could maybe have um, this text, let's just, I won't put the multi-line text in there again, but uh, you just basically repeat the steps that we did before um, to put the multi-line text in here. But let's say we wanted to have it maybe in the middle because um, you know on a mobile phone it might just look nicer being at the top and in the middle there. So let's pull that across, pull the subtitle across as well, like so, okay. So that's there. Um, and then we can take these ones out. I've forgotten what I took out from here. So was it house info, panorama, location, realtor. So we'll take out floor plan and photos. Okay, now obviously the text here looks a little bit big, um, but what I tend to do is in the top left here, you can see there's a little drop down menu uh, that, and you can basically preview what it's gonna look like on certain devices. Um, they don't have every single device in here, but you can get the gist of it. So an S10 is gonna be sort of a more, a more sort of modern Android device. And then iPhone X is gonna be a more modern sort of iPhone device. Um, and then you've got the pixel sizes in here. So you can also rotate it if you want. So you can see what it's gonna look like in horizontal. And I'll touch on that in a second. Um, in fact, I'll touch on that now. So um, when people, this is another thing I've seen on a lot of groups and I have actually commented on a few people's posts about this, um, is when people force the mobile orientation um, on uh, when they're viewing it on uh, a mobile phone uh, to landscape. Uh, I personally don't like that. Um, I think the whole point of viewing a mobile phone or a tour on a mobile phone is to view it in a portrait mode because you get a lot more screen sort of real estate as to say you get more space to view the tour. When you turn it into landscape mode, you've got the address bar of the browser normally on the top. And I know you obviously can get rid of that if you go full screen, but your average user won't know how to do that. So uh, they won't see as much. So what I tend to do, instead of forcing the mobile orientation, there's a button here that says landscape mode on mobile. Um, what you can do is change that to general. And what that means is when someone, if someone does want to turn the phone to landscape mode and view it that way, then it will show this skin instead because obviously they're going to be in landscape mode. So I think that's a much, much better way of doing it. Um, so what we can do from here as well, we can change the text at the bottom. Um, so maybe we want to sort of spread these out a little bit. So let's just spread them out. Spread them out. Oh, hang on, what's happened there? Oh no, I think that's that's sort of locked in now. I think I need to change the orientation, but that's fine. You can you can spread these out. Um, if I do this one, that might. There we go. Just do a quick and quick and dirty edit on here.
There we go, that'll be fine. Um, you can also change, again, the font sizes. So to do that, you just click on, click on the one you want to change and then click on Edit Styles. And then we can change the font if we want. Um, so let's go to, oh, I don't like that one, but I'm not going to, uh, let's just do that one, that's fine. So it's, in fact, it's exactly the same font that it was on before, but that's, you get the idea. Um, but maybe you want to change the font size a little bit because that might be a little bit too big. Um, you know, you can, you can chop and change it to, to sort of how you want it to be, like so. Um, and then we come out of there. Now, once you've made um, all of the changes on here, um, so I'm getting a bit OCD with all this now. There we go. That's fine. Oh, I've played with that for ages. Um, so, there you go. So, anyway, where was I? Um, one thing I normally recommend is to, as I mentioned before, is to do the, the, the general skin first. Um, and then move it over to, to mobile. Um, now we have changed this here, which is going to get rid of that, but we can, once we've updated it, we can put it back to where it was. Um, now, if you click on the cross here, what it will do is it will take out the changes that you've made on here completely. And then if you click plus and click done, what that will do is it will pull through the changes that you made to the previous skin um, and and put them in here for you so we can we can do what we did before we can move the title and the subtitle to the middle like so just adjust that there and then obviously it's pulled through um, everything that we've changed on here so instead of deleting it and doing it all manually like we did before um, all you need to do is just come on with it as at its default with the title in the top left and then just delete it and then click the plus and it will bring through everything that you've changed on here into the uh, into the mobile skin okay um, so again we can we can come here we can change the the font sizes so that looks a little bit small now so we can make that a bit bigger like so there we go and then maybe spread these out a little bit You get the gist. There we go. Okay. Um, what you can also do is, if you wanted, maybe on a, on a mobile phone to put a logo in, for example. Um, let's see if we've got a logo on here. I don't think we have. So let's go on to this one. There we go. Let's just put that logo in. Okay. So that's pretty big there. <laughs> Um, but what we can do is we've got the piece of vine that this is only going to be this is only going to show on the mobile phone version, okay? So if we wanted to have a different logo on the general version, then we click that and let's find another one. There we go. Uh, we've got the title and subtitle up there, so we can maybe put it at the top here like that. So that's how it's going to look on uh, on on desktop. And this is how it's going to look on mobile. So, you know, I mean, you can you can you can play around with this as as, as much as you want. But there is uh, there's there's one other thing that uh, that you may come across, uh, and this is something that I was talking to someone on one of the training sessions about the other day, um, and they said, you know, how come when I have the desktop version of the uh, info sort of the um, the house the, the info window here. Um, it looks it doesn't look good on mobile um, in fact let's use the, the realtor one instead so you've got the image on the left and then you've got this information on the right uh, but then when you look on the mobile version this image is on the left still and this all this stuff is on the right so you can't see that image on the left so what you need to do is open up the the, the sort of the, the, the tree as to say of all the information that's under this realtor section uh, click on global because what this is this is the global container that, that's now been highlighted that's containing all of these sections so within that global container you've got left which is basically the left section um, because on desktop obviously this was on the left and this bit was on the right uh, and then you've got the right section which contains all the text and everything 
So we click on global and there's a button here that says layout. If you change that from horizontal to vertical, okay? And then obviously you need to adjust the sizing and everything. So we'll go to the left section. And at the moment you'll see that that is on 55%. If you just highlight that and change it to 100, bang, there you go. So that's now made that image a better size. You do still need to do a bit of adjustment, but if we change that to 100 as well, there we go. Um, and let's take out this blue line, because I tend to always take that out. And now we can just make our adjustments. So if we centralize this, because centralizing I think looks better on, again, on a mobile phone. Just reduce the font size, bring that up a little bit. Um, and then we can maybe increase this font size a bit. Not that much. Let me take that line out there. There we go. So that's just, again, a quick and dirty edit of that. Um, so you'll see now that it's aligned properly for mobile phones. Um, and th the best way I recommend to people to get around this is just create a test tour um, and just jump in there and go for it. Just play around with things, get, get used to what this, what clicking here does. If you hide that, obviously yeah, it's, gonna, it's gonna get rid of it. And then uh, just just sort of getting used to how this tree tree this tree works. Um, so yeah, that's covering that side, which again I think is quite an important part of uh, of creating a nice sort of attractive mobile skin. Is keeping everything looking good on a mobile. Um, and uh, well, obviously when you go on the desktop, it's going to show up this way instead. Um, again, it's the same sort of thing. You can just sort of click and drag. Um, if you want to change any anything in this area, for example, the background, um, you click on the edit styles and then you can change the opacity of the background. You can change the color of the background as well. And to do that, again, some people get a bit confused with this, is they click on this black bar uh, wanting to change the color. But if you want to change the color, you actually have to click in this little section here, just there, um, because it, it, clicking this black bar enables you to do gradients and things like that. Um, so it can get a bit confusing. So if you just do this, you can change the color through here. Um, so you can customize to your heart's content. So let's change that to white. Uh, and then maybe bring this image. Oh. That's a bit. Okay, excellent. No, I should leave that there. Superb. So um, so yeah, uh, that's a, just a quick, quick tour of the dual skin feature. Um, I hope that there's been some useful information in there. Uh, any questions, then feel free to post them in the comments below. And um, yeah, I hope it's been useful. Well, I hope, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And I think you'd agree that it's a really, really nice feature to have within, within 3D Vista. Uh, it's pretty easy to use as well. So yeah, I hope you guys learned something from that. Uh, again, if you do want to get 3D Vista, then there's a link in the description below that you can click on and, uh, and register to get the one hour training session. What I'll do is I'll just send you over a link to purchase the software through me. And as soon as, uh, as, soon as the purchase is made, I'll be in touch with you to, uh, to get the training booked in. I am really, really busy at the moment. So apologies to any of you who have bought it and uh, we haven't managed to get it booked in yet, but hopefully we uh, will get something booked in soon. Um, if you are one of those people, then just send me over a quick email just to um, just to prompt me. <laughs> so uh, so yeah, yeah, it's been uh, great speaking to you again, and I will try and do some more videos. Take care.